from reading these emails is that everyone from a normal, regular, everyday police officer to a member of the Joint Terrorism Task Force was able to use Clearview. The Legal Aid Society disclosing documents made available in a public records request showing email exchanges from the NYPD and Clearview AI from late 2018 to early 2020. From my understanding, um, the NYPD did not ultimately contract with Clearview to provide facial recognition technology services. Um, but they did undergo an extended, let's say, trial period. Clearview AI, a controversial software providing law enforcement agencies with a research tool using a database of more than 3 billion facial images scraped from social media to mugshot websites. It's our belief that facial recognition technology right now is too unreliable. An issue that has left many advocacy groups calling on lawmakers to ban the government use of facial recognition technology on New Yorkers. It has deficiencies when it identifies uh, people of color. Uh, it has deficiencies when it identifies women. In these obtained records, members of the NYPD had access to the software by phone. And in this email, a member of the department praised the application used on current investigations. The fact that individuals employed by the facial identif identification section were actually trying out Clearview. For McCoy, he says facial recognition technology is simply flawed and hopes law enforcement agencies can solve cases using other methods. Thrives upon the untrammeled or unwarranted invasion of persons' images that they just find online. In Brooklyn, Phil Tate, News 12.